During his State of the State address on Tuesday, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker laid out his priorities for the new legislative session. All of them revolve around creating jobs. Great jobs, develop the workforce, transform education, reform government, and invest in our infrastructure. And it's also why I've asked the members of this legislature to stay focused on these same priorities, not get distracted on other issues. The immediate priority is to pass a new mining law, one that will allow a company to mine iron ore in northern Wisconsin and create thousands of jobs in the process. One of the best ways we can show the people of Wisconsin that their state government is focused on jobs is to pass a bill that streamlines the process of safe and environmentally sound mining. The Republican-led legislature is equally committed to this task. It's clearly a priority of the governor and this legislature early on in the session, and I think it's going to continue to be a priority until we pass this bill. I think it's probably the, the one single uh, piece of legislation that we can pass this, this session that will create thousands of jobs, so it should be a priority. Promoting bipartisanship, an unusual scene played out as union members stood around the Republican governor in a show of support. However, Democrats in the audience did not seem impressed by this display from one of their traditional constituent groups. What was disappointing on my part was to see uh, when the governor introduced uh, the union workers from throughout uh, the state that were here supporting the, the mining effort that they, they wouldn't even stand up and applaud. I mean, it was, it was kind of a, a stark contrast. We shouldn't be rooting against job creation in the state. We should all be working together to put more people back to work. The state Senate and Assembly plan on introducing mining legislation on Wednesday. From there, they expect the process to move quickly. Hopefully in the next two weeks we'll get a, a hearing uh, scheduled and have that hearing and then hopefully be able to exec it out of committee you know, sometime in the next few weeks. It's basically the version that passed the Finance Committee last time with a very few small technical corrections, but that's what Wisconsin wants. They want an environmentally sensitive mining bill, one that's going to bring the jobs here and hopefully one that can get bipartisan support. Once that bill is introduced, Republicans can expect fierce opposition from Democrats. Democrats attacked mining reform efforts in the response to the governor's speech and remain skeptical of mining's potential to create jobs. Instead, they want to put more money into K-12 education, claiming that is the key to creating jobs. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.